look here guys this might look like I'm using Windows 10 but it's actually Windows 11 I customized it using Explorer patcher which is a fantastic free tool available on github that can transform your Windows 11 experience it can bring back certain features from Windows 7 or Windows 10 and gives you more control over your desktop environment let me show you how to install it and let's explore the various features and settings you can customize first thing let's install the explorer patcher head over to the explorer patcher on the github page you'll find the link in the descriptions below from the left you'll see a release section beneath it should be the latest version link click on it and once you're at this page let's scroll down and click on ep setup.exe file to download it once downloaded let's double click on it and click on yes when prompted once installed you'll notice that your taskbar has been changed to windows 10 style now when you right click on the taskbar you'll see this new menu with many options to choose from for example under the toolbars you can select adding options such as address link or desktop and as you can see now these options have been added to your taskbar let's right click on the taskbar again and let's select properties and now you should see this main explorer patcher settings window here are some of the key customization you can make under the taskbar tab you can choose the taskbar style if you prefer the classic windows 10 look select windows 10 style and to apply the changes we need to click on the restart file explorer link here at the lower left corner and now your taskbar appears and behaves like windows 10 you can also enable or disable the search box simply click on show search box option and choose whether to hide it show search icon or show the search box you can also show or hide the task view button here you can combine taskbar icons select this and let's select always combine and here at the taskbar you can see it has combined similar icons let's go back and select never combine now if you want more space you can always change the taskbar icon size let's click on this option and select small but i like it bigger so i'm going to go back and select large next is the system tray tab here you can modify many features of the system tray for example you can bring back the desktop button if you enable it here you can see it here at the lower right corner also you can customize what you see when you click on the system tray icons for example click on the network and select windows 11 and now if i click on the network icon i would see the windows 11 style let's change it to windows 10 and now if i click on it i would see windows 10 style let's go back and change it to windows 8 and now when i click on it i get this nice long menu which i like now let's click on the sound icon and as you can see it's set for windows 10 style let's change it to windows 7 which i prefer more because i have the mix option here let's click on the clock icon and let's change it to windows 7 style and now when i click on it i get this nice analog clock which i really like let's click on the battery icon and now let's go back and select windows 7 style and now when i click on it i really like this style and i'm gonna keep it next let's go to the file explorer tab here are some of the key features you can customize when you right click on the desktop you get this windows 11 context menu and if you do not like it you can replace it with the old classic one to do that click on the disable windows 11 context menu option and click on restart file explorer to apply the changes and now if i right click on the desktop i see this nice classic windows 10 style context menu which is much useful and familiar you can also change the file explorer control interface here for example is the windows 11 interface i can click on control interface and select windows 10 ribbon 
and click on Restart File Explorer. And now if I open File Explorer, I would see these nice ribbons on top. Next in the Start Menu tab, you can choose your preferred Start Menu style. For example, you can select your Windows 10 style to bring back the familiar layout. Next, under Windows Switcher tab, you can customize the Windows Switcher, which appears when you click on the Alt tab keys on your keyboard. You have options such as Windows 10, Windows Net, or simple Windows Switcher, which comes with even more settings to choose from. You can experiment with these settings on your own. Under the Weather tab, you have the options to display weather on your taskbar if you like. Under the other tabs, there are more settings you can experiment with on your own. And under the advanced tab, it's basically for power users. It offers more in-depth customizations options. You can, for example, tweak system registry settings, modify advanced taskbar behavior, and much more. Under the about tab, if you decided to undo all the changes made by Explorer Patcher and go back to your original settings, simply click on the restore default settings and that should take you back. And the final tab is the uninstall tab. If you decided to uninstall Explorer Patcher, simply click on the uninstall and that should remove it from your system. And that's all I wanted to show you about the Explorer Patcher. If you like this video, Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, bye for now.